Kana? Hello mga ka babes This is your teacher babes and welcome to Mom Babes TV where you can learn mathematics and just watching videos. So, like, comment, and share and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga latest videos. So, enjoy watching! So, for today's video, this is actually the part 2 of replying to a comment about the age problem. So, in this time, there are two persons involved in the given problem. But before we start our discussion, shout out muna ako. Shout out muna kina Arman Kibling. And also, mag-subscribe kayo sa channel niya, Arman Kibling. And syempre, hindi rin papahuli ang mga estudyante ko. Sina Alvin Acopra, then Joranin Raka, Angel Moraleta, Joe Marbon, and Geraldine Malto. So, kung gusto niyo ma-shout out, mag-comment at mag-subscribe na kayo sa channel ko. So, let's start the discussion. So, let's start discussing about the age problem. There are two things to consider in solving the age problem. Number one. If the problem involves a single person, then it is similar to an integer problem. And number two, if the age problem involves the ages of two or more people, then using a table would be a good idea. And ito naman yung mga dapat tandaan in solving the age problem. So, we have four steps to consider. Number one, read the problem carefully and note down what is given and what is required. Yan yung pinaka-importante sa lahat. Number two, denote the unknown by some letters such as X, Y, Z, etc. So, tandaan kahit anong letter pwedeng gamitin, hindi lang si X. Number three, Translate the statements of the problem into mathematical statements. And lastly, number four, in algebra age problems, first check whether they have given some years later or some years before. So, accordingly, you have to add or subtract the years given. Tandaan, years later or some years before. Ganyan lang kadali yung mga steps in solving the age problem. So, tandaan yan. Let's start the discussion about the age problem, part 2. So, in this age problem, it involves the ages of two or more people. In this example, ginamit ko yung mga pangalan ng aking mga subscribers para naman ma-motivate sila na mag-comment sa aking mga videos. So, Kung gusto nyong gamitin ang pangalan ninyo sa aking susunod na mga videos, mag-comment na kayo at mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. So, let's start. Example number one. The present age of Arman's mother is three times of that of Arman. After five years, the sum of their ages would be 70. Find their present ages. Okay, tandaan. Meron tayong four steps to consider in solving the age problem. Number one, read the problem carefully. Bago mag-solve, basahin muna ng maigi ang problem. Yan yung pinaka-technique. And number two, denote the unknown by some letters such as X, Y, Z, etc. And for today, gagamitin natin si X. Para naman may pakinabag yung si X. <laughs> okay, so let X be the Arman's age. And then, 3X, kasi nga, mother is 3 times. Tandaan, si mother daw 3 times ng edad ni Arman. So, ang 3X ay nag-represent sa mother's age, mother ni Arman. Okay, and then, after 5 years, so after meaning in the future. So, magdadagdag tayo ng plus 5. So, magiging x plus 5, ang edad ni Arman, plus 
3x ang edad ng mother niya. Tandaan, plus 5 kasi nga after 5 years is equal to 70. Yan yung sum ng mga edad nila ng after 5 years. And that's our final equation. And then after that, magsusolve na tayo. Okay, again, ulitin ko lang. Let X be the Arman's age. And 3X, yung edad naman ng kanyang mother. And our final, final equation now is X plus 5 plus 3X plus 5. Kasi nga, after 5 years, equals 70. 70 yung sum ng edad nila after 5 years. Okay, next step. Combined like terms. Pagsasamayin muna natin yung magkakabareha yung term. Okay, magiging x plus 3x plus 5 plus 5 equals 70. Then, x plus 3x. Answer for x. And 5 plus 5 is 10. Is equal to 70. Okay, then... And dilipat natin sa kabila si 10. So, 4x is equal to 70. Since positive si 10, magiging negative na siya. Okay, our final equation now is 4x is equal to 70 minus 10 is 60. Then, divide both sides by 4. So, ang natira na lang is x. Then, 60 divided by 4, the answer is 15. Okay, so, 15 years old. Okay, ulitin ko. 15 years old. Yan yung edad ngayon ni Arman. Okay, Arman's present age. Yan ang value ng X. And sa mother's age naman is 3X. So, 3 times ang value ng x is 15. So, ang x, papalitan natin ng 15. 3 times 15, the answer is? Okay, that's correct. Answer is 45. So, 45 years old ang edad ngayon ng mother ni Arman. Okay, number 2. Let's have example number 2. So, ang ginamit ko namang pangalan dito ay ang pangalan ng isa sa estudyante ko, which is subscriber ko din. Okay, so, si Alvin Acopra. Okay, let's have example number 2. Alvin, father's age is 5 years more than 3 times of Alvin's present age. Find the Alvin's age. Present age. So, ang hinahanap dito is yung present age ni Alvin if his father is 44 years old. Okay. First step, basahin ng maigi ang age problem. Tandaan, basahin ng maigi. Okay. Step number two. Denote the unknown variable. By some letters. So, gagamitin natin ulit si X. So, si X is yung edad ni Alvin. And then, 3X kasi nga 3 times of Alvin's present age. And then, plus 5 kasi 5 years more done. So, 3X plus 5, yan yung edad ng father ni Alvin. Okay, and then our final equation now is 3x plus 5 is equal to 44. Okay, that is our final equation. Okay, then let's solve. Let's solve for the value of dx. Okay, so this is the solution para mahanap natin ang present age ni Alvin. Okay, tandaan si X ang present age ni Alvin. And then 3X plus 5, yan naman ang edad ng 
father ni Alvin. And our final equation now is magiging 3x plus 5 is equal to 44. Okay, next step. Combined like terms. So, since parehong whole number ang 44 at saka 5, ililipat natin si 5 sa kabilang equation or sa kabilang side ng equation. So, magiging 3x is equal to 44. Since positive si 5, magiging negative na siya. And then, 3x is equal to 44 minus 5. The answer is 39. Then, divide both sides by 3. The answer now is x is equal to 39 divided by 3. The answer is 13. So, ganyan na kadali ang pagkuha ng present age ni Alvin. So, ang present age ngayon ni Alvin or ang present age ni Alvin is 13 years old. Okay, ganyan lang kadali ang pag-solve ng age problem. So, since we are through discussing the age problem, now it's your turn to answer. Okay, and that is our age problem na sasagutan ninyo. After 15 years, Jomer's age will become 4 times of that of his present age. Okay, so, ang ahanapin nyo ngayon is ang edad niya. So, find his age. Dapat his yung nakalagay dyan. So, that's all for the discussion for today's lesson. Sana, may natutunan kayo sa mga tinuro ko. And also, kung alam niyo yung sagot sa tanong ko, mag-comment na sa ating comment section. At kapag tama ang inyong sagot, shout out kita sa aking next video. And also, mag-comment din kayo sa ating comment section kung ano yung topic na gusto niyong i-discuss sa ating susunod na videos. And that's all for today!